Last night after watching Westworld, we fell asleep on the sofa. In the mornings, Paul makes me my tea, as you saw from his morning get ready with me. You know our routine, but I was so tired this morning that I slept in for another hour, so I didn't wake up till half nine. I didn't even try editing last night, I just, just wanted to relax and edit. I just think it's slightly catching up with me and my emotional day yesterday and all my ugly crying. I've just edited it this morning. My Christmas present from Yannin arrived. I'm going to save this till Christmas, so thank you very much Yannin. I'll put this under the tree. Oh, and also this is a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick I was wearing. Masochist. I love this, but so bloody hard to get off. Like, it's still basically on my lips. I think I've mentioned this in a vlog before, but top tip, if you have an outfit and it has creases in, hang it up while you shower and then it all drops out. Catching up with Jenna Marbles. Editing in the morning completely threw me off. I almost forgot. Obviously your favorite part of the day, right? The Return of the Blob. I think it's a Christmas pudding. It's a little cute mascara. Paul hate me because every morning on the shelf is where my eyelashes sit. Because at night time I take them off but I leave them here. I'm sorry Paul. It must look so creepy. Skincare routine all done. If you haven't seen that I will put one of the cards linked below. My current skincare routine because still skin's pretty good. I had a little friend. It was like here and I've got Kind of like one here, but nothing's happening with it. But still, apart from the little thing, skin. For me, amazing. I think I might go through some of my old clips of when I was vlogging, even back in September, October. You'll be able to see a better comparison of when I say my skin is good now, like I think you'll then be able to see the difference. It's time to make the spice more attractive looking. <laughs> Going back to an old fave today, I'm wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Crush Liquid Lipstick. I like this makeup today. Just brushed my hair and it's made such a difference. It's so much sleeker and it actually looks shiny. But I wanted to say that yesterday when I did my hair, I then blow dried it with this. It did make such a difference and I didn't really have to straighten my hair as much afterwards because it made it a lot more tamer and sleeker. But it did give a bit more volume at the roots. My hair's just gone a bit flat because it just does that when I sleep on it, to be honest. With my straighteners, I kind of like curled the front bit slightly so it framed the face a bit more. My hair is in really good condition. It's really, really soft and smooth and shiny. So definitely love the fibreplex we're using when we bleach my hair. Started adding little stocking fillers into Paul's little stocking there and before I was just using like coasters to support the stockings but now I've actually started putting stuff in there I then added hooks. So these are the sticky hooks I got from Wilkinson's and they just oh no pee fell over. If you didn't catch my other vlog we got these from Morrison's and they were literally like four pounds each. Now we're gonna do the Topshop haul finally. So I didn't do it yesterday, you know, got a little bit of mosh. The first item is this top. I saw this on one of the model shots like on the wall but in white and underneath it they had it in black. I could not find it in white but I've just tucked this in. It's not actually too long. I'll take it out in a second so you can see. I just love the sleeves that when you like fold your arms they go like this. Like I'm so into like sleeves at the moment. I really like the shape of the neckline and at the back it just does up with a button and I got this in my normal size. The skirt is such a good fit. I actually got it a size bigger than I would usually because they didn't have my size but this actually is perfect. If I think I got my size it would have been too tight and fitted. It does have pockets. It just has this really nice embroidered detail on the side. I used to hate wearing A-line skirts when I was younger. I kind of felt that it made me look slimmer and I was very slim back then. If people think I'm slim now, oh I was very slim when I was younger. But now I think with how I dress now and kind of you know showing off that I do have a small waist and I do have hips and I do have broad shoulders, so I do have shape to me. So I feel as I've got older, I don't think people are thinking, you look so tiny. I hope they're thinking, that's a nice outfit. If I pull out the top, then you'll see how long it is. So the top is here. I got two pinafore dresses and the color doesn't quite look how it does in person. It's a lot more of a pinky purple. Like it literally is like both my hair colors mixed together. The material is so soft. It's like a velvet sort of material. It's not too thick. It's really comfortable. I thought I'd prefer this one because it looked like it followed the shape of the body a bit more. This blouse is from Silk Fred. I actually have a 10% discount code. So if you like this and the floral studded faux leather jacket I wore yesterday. This pinafore, it has cute little pockets. These straps adjust. It had no zips or anything, it just slipped right on. I don't know really how the colour is coming out, but looking on screen, this looks brown and it isn't. It's a 
dusty pink. The other one I got was in my size. This one I sized down. Got a little pocket in the front and I don't know which one to keep out of either. And the back looks like a normal kind of pinafore. Which one do you think looks better? I don't know. This is the last top I got. It has it kind of like choke a bit with it. It's very tight and form-fitting camel on camera but it's more of a like dusty brownie pink. I really can't get the great colours on this. This with this lighting it's just not working but I thought I would do some close up. So this one is cord. It has the pocket at the front. On the back it has two little pockets on the butt. That's how the back looks. This is the other pinafore dress and this is actually quite close to the colour of it. Nice velvet material, the little pockets, the adjustable straps. And then the back is just really, really simple. The skirt, the embroidery is so, so pretty. I really love this. I think this is the favorite item I got in this little haul. The zip is just at the back. And the black top, because I couldn't really show you the back as I was wearing it, but this little keyhole detail and the button to fasten it. And the rib top I wore, again, the color isn't quite right. It's a little bit more pinky, but it's like a a pinkish camel if that makes any sense. It's ribbed, it'll like choke a bit as you can see it's connected. I wanted to show you the top I got from H&M yesterday because when I wore it in the changing rooms you really couldn't appreciate the colour. Again this is a little bit like a touch more pink in real life than on camera. They have it in this colour, a kind of almost purpley grey and as I said I got black so I'll show you that on. Then on the back there's this really simple crossover detail. Just tried dressing it up a little so I added the famous Gucci belt and these are my American Apparel riding pants. They're so so high waisted and then I put on my River Island rose gold heels and I think this looks so pretty. I feel like I want to go to a bar right now. And this is the black one. I find them quite hard to actually tuck in. This I got in the same size, one were both a size bigger. The pinkish one I felt is a lot looser than this, like this feels very, very tight. This is it out, which doesn't look bad. I just prefer things tucked in because I'm like, hey, I got a bum. And then if I don't tuck things in, it's like, I look literally like I'm straight up and down. I just wanted to share the jumpsuit again. Love the neckline of this. This you can kind of adjust. It's just like on a piece of string, which then is hooked at the back. It's so flattering. The back looks so, so pretty. I love how you can see my tattoo on there as well. And it has pockets. Woo! Paul's actually using the landing. And I need to put Eric back. He's missing. Here's a demonstration of all the volume in my hair from when I used that roller brush. Because when you change your parting over, it really keeps that volume. I'm loving it. I'm playing some Sunny Moore. From, from first to last, Skrillex. The song's called Emily. That's all you get. I don't know if I like this duo though. I feel like it's not really sticking. My lashes in this inside corner. Today we're going to have stir fry as Paul missed it. So as I said before in the other day's vlog, this is already oiled so I can just put it on the heat and put the food in and I don't have to oil it. Woo! 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 <laughs> and there we go. Stir fry. It's a little bit different. We use different stir fried veg but at least Paul can have it this time. Very good, thank you. Take it. Yeah, I love it. Yay! So Paul's going to leave me. He's going to go to a gig and then we're DJing. But you did invite me along, but then I was like, I'll end up staying out and then I don't want to get drunk because I don't want to ruin the weekend. But I don't want to be hungover because I just can't function the next day. It's got a new top. I like it. Say bye. Bye. It's too close. Goodbye, people. I'm off now. I've got places to go. People to see. Put the prints up in the bedroom. I'm loving them. They look so good. Some things to my Depop. This is one of them. And I had no idea that you could do this with this handbag. So this originally went in here. And then I read that you could take the front bit out as an optional clutch. And I was just like, holy crap. And all the money goes to charity. I'm trying to sort out my office, if you saw it in one of my other vlogs. But I procrastinate by thinking of things I want to sell. Like I showed the bag and as I showed you, I put up the prints on the wall. I just had the loveliest message. Almost brought me to tears, but like happy tears. As we all saw yesterday, got a little bit emotional. I just want to say thank you to this person that they messaged me reaching out saying that they were in a similar boat. They also 
um, lost their friend and that it was relieving to hear someone they admire talk about their feelings that they also felt. They are happy and proud that I still am able to do my YouTube, making videos to entertain other people that I'm one of their favourites, loving my vlogs as well as my main channel. They hope even on the worst days I can still find peace and hope for the future. It makes me very emotional because of the support. So I want to say thank you. That's me like happy tears. Imagine me crying when I'm proper sad. That is another level of ugly crying. As I'm making progress in my office, I'm making a mess on the landing. This was from Kiehl's when they sent me some like holiday skincare and I loved this. So this goes really nicely. Because when I put it up, I felt like there was something missing and now that looks really good. It is now 10 to 3. Paul should be back in, I think, less than an hour. So I should probably say night because I need to edit this and it's, it's really late. I should go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs>